Welcome back, everybody. It's time for another video for you. And what you are looking at is a K7000 uh, monitor. And uh, <sighs> um, where to begin on this? Well, years ago, when I got my uh, my Capcom vs. SNK, it had this monitor in it. But it's actually this tube that you see right here. And uh, the chassis from that monitor is in here with this tube, which I picked up for uh, free um, maybe about a year ago. And it's just been sitting on the shelf. Honestly, I was pretty sure that the chassis in this, um, there was something wrong with it. When I got it originally, if you look back at some of my older videos when I did got it, um, I did a cap kit on this, and uh, the monitor didn't work after I did the cap kit. And uh, it was kill It was like I, I thought that I had done something wrong, but I looked my work over and over several times, and I couldn't find out what was wrong with it. So anyways, um, um, so I just put that away, and I, I ended up getting a VGA monitor for the... Uh, Capcom vs. SNK, which actually works out really well because the Naomi is actually VGA. Um, so yeah, so fast forward to this Monday, and uh, my friend Patrick brought over his K7000 that he picked up recently at, um, in a dynamo cabinet, and uh, it was ha it's having some issues with the, the picture. Actually, it looks like it's out of sync. It looks just like the monitor that's in my uh, Play Choice 10 before I capped it. And actually, the chassis for that is over here. And... Uh, it's got some weird things going on with like you see those double caps there. They're not actually double caps. They're uh get in there close, you can see it. Because if you see there, the leg for that cap doesn't actually go into the same hole. It, there it's it's got that hack there. It's got some weird stuff going on here. Um some things in here as well. And a whole bunch of little jumper wires going all over that are not to repair any broken traces. But apparently that's uh that's some of the K7000s came like that. Um, this one's got a remote board on it. Um, it's different, and it's got the cap up in the uh, next board. But yeah, so uh, I started work on this. I stopped working on it. Uh, I mean, I, I started to look at it, and I haven't really done anything with this yet. Um, but, so I pulled this tube off the shelf to try try with his board to make sure it wasn't a tube issue. And the tube's got some issues. It's really, it's got a, it's really uh, magnetized right now. Um, but when I plugged his chassis into this monitor, um... I'm still getting that same bad image, and uh, so I, uh, um, the next thing I did is I pulled this one off the shelf, because they're all up on, sitting up on the shelf up high, and I took the chassis off of this, put it in this, and I turn on, I'm like, I get this picture here, I'm like, holy crap. So, it turns out I did not mess up doing the cap kit. There's something wrong with the tube. So, anyway, so I've got this right here, and this is a Heath kit um, monitor rejuvenator. And I, I got this one a while back, and uh, I'm just going to show you the, the basic test. Uh, this knob, is, the screw on it's not very good, so I just took it off. Um, so I'm going to plug it in, and I've got it here. I've got it connected up to the uh, to the old tube that was in this. Now, what this thing can do is actually clean the guns right there. They get um, uh, metal builds up on them and uh, vaporized metal, and kind of condenses on it and causes it to not work as well over time. So what this thing does is it allows you to test it and actually rejuvenate it by using AC current to uh, essentially burn off the uh, metal uh, that's on the tube. Now it will also tell you if it's bad. It's got a short and stuff like that. So I'm going to do just the basic test right here just to show you guys. So the first thing you do is you turn it on and you turn up the heater voltage. Let's see if I got this. Oh, i got to reset that. Okay. So now i got to turn the heater voltage up here until it reads... 6.3 volts. Okay, so now it says 6.3 right there. Now the next thing, uh, I gotta get down here. All right. So the next thing you wanna do is you actually wanna look at your gun current. Um, you turn the, you actually turn the cutoff all the way up. Okay. So now, here is the. Let's see. Do I need? Does this make it better? Mm, it's too close. So I'm just gonna back off a little bit here. Okay, so we got a reflection from the light, but the uh, this is the red gun, and you'll see here, the red gun is reading four volts, and it you want five or higher. So the red gun isn't working very well on this right here. Now the green gun, the blue gun here is pegging it; it's going past ten, and that means that the the blue one's good. The green gun, on the other hand, is just above zero. Um, it does move a little bit, but not much. So the next thing I want to do is actually want to clean this, uh, um, the the green gun and the red gun on this because 
the red gun is actually low too. So um, the next step is I'm going to actually clean this. And uh, I'm not set. Up, I don't want. I haven't got the setup to really record this right now. So I'm just going to stop. You know, I'm not going to do anything more with this right now. I just wanted to show you guys this uh, really cool uh, monitor tester and uh, rejuvenator that I picked up. Actually, I got this for $15 shipped off of a fellow collector. Um, he was crazy, but <laughs> I'm glad to have it. So it's really nice. It's it's a great uh, tool to have. <coughs> and, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to try to rejuve this tube. And uh, then I'll, give it a tr I'll try it out with the... Uh, um, with the ch original chassis, see if it works after I do that. But if that doesn't work, I can always just use the other tube I've got here. But it's good to, you know, you don't want to just throw a tube away if it's uh, good. So um, I'm going to try and fix it. Um, and you can see that I've got an adapter on there. There's all these different adapters for fitting different tubes. Um, this thing hasn't been used in years, so like some of them actually just fell out of the connectors. So I'll have to reconnect these back up because I think that that one goes with this one here. Um, this set is good. This one's good. It's just this one here that's the one. And I, honestly, I don't even think I have even seen a monitor that has that type of connector on it. It's probably for a really old TV set. Um, yeah, so you can see right here these are coming apart. But this one's working, so this one's good. And, uh, yeah, so I've got this one here will allow me to do Sanyo monitors and this, well, K7000 and as well as the K4600 too. So this is good. It allowed me to uh, work on these. So, yeah. So that's that, and I'm just going to turn this back off. And um, unplug it. All right. So you see this monitor looks really good. Um, I got a little bit of pin cushion going on on it, so I'll probably have to do a few little other things on it. But it looks really, looks fantastic, actually. And uh, here's one other thing I want to show you guys. Um, my wife made this for me. And if you might recognize him, he's, a, he's either Bub or Bob. I forget which one he is. Um, she uh, crocheted this for me. I think it's really cute. Um, you can see right there. His eyes aren't glued on yet, so I need to glue them on. Um, There's just some felt on there. So, yeah. So, I think, I think he's really cute. and uh, It's a great. My wife's awesome. She really is. She does all these things for me. So, yeah. So, uh, that's it. Nice long video here about not much. But uh, you got to see it. I'm excited to get this monitor working again. And I'm trying to decide now if I should just throw it in the Radical Bikers because this monitor needs, a, needs work on it. Um, as I, you showed in, I showed you in a previous video, it does work, but then it goes into shutdown. Um, but I'm kind of I'm more leaning towards just fixing this one and using this in something else. Um, I'm not sure what. I may swap it out of one of these other ones because um, the Bad Dudes monitor, Bad Dudes Mortal Kombat monitor, <laughs> <laughs> um, this one here uh, needs a cap kit so I could probably just cap that and it'll look great I mean it, it's not when I say cap kit it just barely needs one it's just got some um, minor issues on it but it doesn't look as good as this one does right now um, the colors aren't as bright and stuff so yeah so that's it um, I will come I'll be back with some more videos um, like I said it's uh, it's kind of slow going it's cold in the basement and uh I don't know. It's that time of year where you just want to, you actually just want to sleep more than anything else. So yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I will be back with more videos. And hopefully, actually, we'll do one um, of me cleaning this tube.